What's going on guys, Tom Tops and Wrestling here, back again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about some last minute AEW rumours heading in to the inaugural episode of Wednesday Night Dynamite. It all starts tomorrow, we cannot wait. When I say we, I hope I'm speaking for you guys as a collective, because I know I myself, I can't wait. Uh, basically how I'm going to be doing is I've got a split screen set up, I'm going to be watching AEW on one screen and NXT on the other, because... I'm just so hyped, you know, AEW is going to be so awesome, I'm hoping for, and I'm really hoping Candice LeRae wins the NXT Women's title, but I'm rambling. Today we're going to be talking about some AEW rumours and people who might be appearing and people who probably won't be appearing, so let's talk about that right now. Let's get the obvious out of the way, CM Punk is not appearing on AEW Dynamite, I'm very certain and I'm very sure of it that he is not appearing on AEW Dynamite. I mean, people are still speculating that he might appear despite the fact that Cody himself has basically shut the whole idea down and then there's, there's the rumors of CM Punk joining WWE. People are still speculating that CM Punk could be one of Jericho's mystery partners in the six-man tag. I don't see it happening at all. I really don't. Um, CM Punk, I think he would be suited to AEW. But at this point in his career, if he's going to return to wrestling, it's going to be in WWE or in a non-wrestling role somewhere else. That could be AEW, but I don't see him appearing at AEW Dynamite. If he did appear at AEW Dynamite, that would be huge. That would be AEW's Lex Luger moment from WCW. That would put AEW in the race with WWE 100%. I know for a fact it would, and that would put them ahead of NXT. I just know it. But like I said... Don't see it happening. Sorry. Sorry to bust your dreams. Bust your dreams. What kind of saying is that? Next up, another person who most likely won't be appearing on the inaugural episode of AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite. God, that sounds so good. Is Cain Velasquez. Excuse me if I pronounced that wrong, but if you don't know Cain Velasquez, he is a former... Well, I think he he's not a former. He's still a UFC fighter. In the past, he's fought Brock Lesnar, and he's a very successful UFC fighter. But very recently, he was wrestling for AAA in Mexico, and he's a very passionate wrestling fan, and he was really good. Like, unbelievably good, you know? You thought Ronda Rousey was good on her debut. Kane was amazing on his debut, like, he just gets it. And there's been reports that both WWE and AEW are interested in Kane Velasquez, and why wouldn't they? He has that MMA crossover appeal, has a name value, and he's really good. But here's the thing, his current contract with UFC only allows him to have physical contact in wrestling shows in Mexico. He's not allowed to take any bumps or anything in America for wrestling shows. He can make appearances, I'm pretty sure, but he can't take any bumps or anything. And I just don't see him appearing at AEW because he's also rumoured to be being signed for WWE. Uh, Brock Lesnar's promo on Raw last night where he talked about you know, there's being wannabes in combat sports who can't match Brock Lesnar. That was supposed to be referencing Cain Velasquez, and that's supposedly a match that WWE are really keen on doing if Cain Velasquez can get signed to WWE. So yeah, Cain's another one I do not see appearing at AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite. Um, I just do not see it happening at all. I'm really sorry, I would like to see Cain appearing, but again, him and CM Punk, as much as I would like both of them to appear, <laughs> I just don't think it's going to happen. And I think both of them could go to WWE and have matches with Brock Lesnar. I mean, Kane versus Brock Lesnar would be cool. Punk versus Lesnar was amazing in 2013. And I'd love to see that again. I always ramble on in these videos. Next, next point. Yes. Let's talk about John Moxley now. It's already confirmed that John Moxley is going to appear at Wednesday Night Dynamite on this upcoming episode, which is really great news because John Moxley, big name very talented wrestler and he'll get help draw fans in to watch the show simple as that um and i definitely think that he could potentially wrestle a match but i think that the way he'll most likely be used is to build up his match with sean spears which i think is one or two weeks after yeah moxley versus spears got announced for one of the AEW shows in october i don't remember which one i'm sorry I don't do my research. Journalistic integrity gone. Whoa, not like I'm a journalist anyway. But yeah, um, his match with Sean Spears has been confirmed. So I reckon he's going to come out and just kind of build up to his match with Spears. Because Spears doesn't have a match announced for this show either. So 
I think these two might just face off and cut some promos on each other, you know, insult each other, build up to their match that they have. You know, I would like to see Moxley do like an open challenge or something, and you kind of you could have someone like Kip Sabian, uh, Jungle Boy, I'm trying to think of some other future stars in AEW, and Helico and Jack Evans, Darby Allen. Um, he could do an open challenge and any of these guys could answer. I preferably we want like Kip Sabian to answer Because uh, I think Kip Sabian could use that rub and have that match with Moxley, but I'm rambling again uh, I was really hoping Moxley would do a open challenge, but I don't think it's gonna happen I think most likely he is going to be building to his match with Sean Spears the second to last Individual we're gonna talk about isn't actually an individual, they're a team. We're talking about LAX, Ortiz, and Santana. I believe they're not going by LAX anymore. So I'm sure when they most certainly appear on this episode of Dynamite, they will get a new team name. And I, I'm very certain that this team are going to appear on Dynamite. Um, we saw them attack the Lucha Bros and the Young Bucks after the Lucha Bros and Young Bucks ladder match at All Out, which I think a lot of us were expecting to see. And, well, I don't think we're expecting that specifically, but I think a lot of us were expecting to see LAX in AEW in general. And we all know that Chris Jericho has two mystery opponents to face off against the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega. And I'm so certain it's going to be them too. I don't know who else it would be. I think it just makes sense for it to be LAX. Uh, LAX aren't in the tournament because they aren't officially, like, have been announced as signings. But I'm sure they're going to be the mystery partners. They'll be announced as signings. And I think when the Young Bucks, who I think are going to win the tag tournament, and I think should win the tag tournament, I think Young Bucks and LAX will be maybe the first feud that Young Bucks have as AEW World Tag Team Champions. I'm really excited to see Ortiz and Santana in AEW. They are going to be absolutely fantastic. I already know it. And it's just going to be cool. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. Before we go any further, let's just run through some people who could maybe be appearing but no news has really been out about it uh first of all scarlet bordeaux big female name on the indie scene she just got released from an impact contract recently i was really expecting her to be appearing at the casino battle royale at all out but she didn't which really surprised me because again she's a really big name brandy rhodes has acknowledged her in an interview and scarlet bordeaux is amazing as well she's got a great look she's amazing in the ring and she's cut good promos as well. I think she'd be a good piece for the AW Women's Division. Maybe she could appear at this show. Uh, there were reports that she got a private tryout at the Performance Center a couple weeks ago. But that was never followed up on and she seemingly hasn't been signed by WWE. So maybe, just maybe, she could appear at Dynamite. Um, we'll have to wait and see because so far only one women's segment has been announced with Nyla Rose and Riho. So maybe we can get some more women in there, hopefully, please. And speaking of women, I want to talk about some of the entrants that were in the Casino Battle Royale. People such as Priscilla Kelly could be appearing, Shazam McKenzie, uh, Big Swole. I think someone who could be appearing out of the most likely out of all of these is Mercedes Martinez. She was the lucky 21, which shows that AEW see big things in her and could potentially be signing for AEW maybe as one of the top women. The uh, problem is the AW Women's Division is quite small and there's only one title and like there's so many people that could be like top women and so if they're going to sign people they have to sign people that are more mid card I feel like. So I feel like Mercedes Martinez will just be joining the likes of Baker, Priestley, Awesome Kong, Nyla Rose as all these women who are going to be top of the women's division Ali as well Brandy Rhodes all these women are going to be near the top of the women's division and I feel as though if Mercedes Martinez went she'd just be adding to that making it more convoluted but I still like to see her nonetheless and finally the last person to talk about interestingly enough is Jack Swagger because this has been reported by Sports Illustrated but Jack Swagger is going to be appearing at 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 Dynamite at Dynamite. Uh, it's not that I can't speak right now. It's that I'm just kind of Baffled by this listen. I like swagger. He's doing MMA at the moment and doing really well for himself at Bellator So there is that crossover appeal, but what does he add as a wrestler to AEW? You know and how is he gonna get pushed as a wrestler because while he is a quite a bigger name due to his WWE fame 
I mean, in terms of in-ring ability, promos, he doesn't match a lot of the superstars in there. I'd still like to see Jack Strong in AEW. I think it'd be nice to see him on a mainstream stage wrestling again. But do AEW need him? That's the, that's the question I'm really begging here. Nonetheless, I still wouldn't mind seeing Jack. It'd still be cool to see him. And yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and find out if that report is true. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, then be sure to smash that like button. Let me know if you are excited for Dynamite. Let me know if you're watching Dynamite, NXT, both or neither. In fact, I'll put a poll on the community tab and you guys can talk about that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. My Instagram is at I'm Tom Bell. Follow me on Twitter at Top10Wrestling. Like and subscribe with post notifications on. Goodbye. And keep on rolling.